Welcome everyone to Apple Insider. I know things look a little different around here depending on when this video goes live. This may or may not be the first video you guys are seeing of me and our new studio setup. And don't worry, we have more coming down the line. We're gonna uh, clean up the set here a little bit, make it a little more kind of interesting in the background. We're gonna do a little more soundproofing so there's a little bit better uh, sound quality coming for you guys. But we have content to get out, so there is no time to be designing a set when I have stuff to share with you. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite uh, Apple devices, the Apple TV, and what we are likely to see in the very near future for Apple's set-top box. So let's go ahead and round up all the most recent rumors in this video. So a lot of the most recent talk has been around the new iPhones. Apple has already announced their event on October 13th at 10 a.m. PDT to talk about the iPhone 12 and what other devices they've got in store to share with all of us. But we possibly might see the new updated Apple TV. So currently Apple has the Apple TV HD and then the Apple TV 4K. Obviously a 1080p version, slower processor, newer version with 4K, faster processor. But Apple is pouring some big money into Apple Arcade if the most recent rumors are true. On Twitter, Fudge, who goes by ChocoBits, uh, is saying that Apple is pouring a ton of money into Apple Arcade and part of what is driving a new version of the Apple TV is those new titles that are gonna need some beefy processors to go with. So there sounds like there's a A12X or A12Z version of a new Apple TV coming and possibly an A14X Bionic, uh, some version of an A14 like Apple TV is also being worked on. Some of the new titles uh, may require A13 Bionic processor or newer to run these things. So we're going to need uh, something like the A12Z, which does have additional graphics cores that we saw in the most recent 2020 iPad Pros, uh, or that A14, a variation on that A14, which is what we see in the iPad Air, and likely the new version of the iPhone 12. So Apple is likely going to be putting in that new beefy processor to power some of these new games. Fudge says that Apple is looking to create titles that are going to rival Zelda Breath of the Wild. And if you haven't played this on Switch, it is an incredible game. Young, old, whatever. This is just an amazing game. It, was, it had just rave reviews. So if Apple is looking at that to create content for Apple Arcade, count me in. I am excited to hear that because that would just be amazing to have that level of game on Apple Arcade. And I hope there's more titles that follow Along with that, maybe we'll capture some more of the serious gamer market alongside the large casual gamer market that Apple already has. Other changes this year for the Apple TV, we may see a new version of this. This is Apple's Siri remote. We may finally get a new version of this. I know a lot of you guys don't like the Siri remote. You do not like it. Uh, personally, I don't mind the Siri remote, but I do uh, usually use my Seven Hugs smart remote. I like this guy a lot too, but I can use this to control everything here in the studio, which makes it a little bit easier. So I've always been a fan of this guy, but Apple's looking to create a new version of the Siri remote, and it sounds like they're going to build in a version of their Find My Devices tracking. I think that is brilliant. Uh, so they are looking to create that new AirTags tracker. You'll be able to use your iPhone. You'll be able to look around your room, especially use the LiDAR in the new iPhone 12s and see exactly through augmented reality where your device is that you lost it, where exactly in the couch cushion your Apple TV remote is. So they're looking to take that AirTags feature and build it in to the Apple TV remote, which is just perfect, perfect synergy. Gives you that really good reason to buy an iPhone as well as an Apple TV uh, or if you already have an Apple TV, the reason to get an iPhone to go along with it if you're somehow falling into that camp. But that's what it sounds like they're doing, and I'm really excited for that. I put a tile tracker on my Apple TV remote. My wife had to, has a tendency to lose it every once in a while, so I love the idea of just having that built in. No need to worry about anything else. I can just use Find My Devices to find exactly where that remote is uh, in the living room. 
Speaking of remotes, it looks like Apple is going to create their own uh, controller for the Apple TV or any Apple device and not like a remote control, but like an actual gaming controller. We have already covered how you can use a PlayStation 4 DualShock controller and Xbox controller. There are Steel Series controllers that are out there. There's a bunch of different MFI controllers that work across all of Apple's devices, Mac, Apple TV, iPad, iPhone. Uh, to play Apple Arcade as well as other games. And it looks like Apple wants a piece of that. They're going to be creating their own controller, their own Apple branded controller for Apple Arcade, uh, as well as other gamings that aren't part of Apple Arcade, but just their own version of a controller. I'm excited to see that. Apple always does an amazing job with peripherals. And if they're able to use their own U1 chip, they could get that lag down. Well, not the U1 chip, but Apple's own um, H1 chip or any of their wireless chips that they've done already, they could get that lag incredibly low for a wireless controller. So that would be very enticing to see how that does and how that performance lines up versus a third party controllers that we've already tested. So when are we going to see the new Apple TV as well as these other peripherals? It sounds like it could be a possibility at Apple's new iPhone 12 event. Honestly, Apple has a ton of stuff that they are actively working on. Obviously, we got the iPhone 12, we have new iPad Pros coming down the line. We've got the new Apple Silicon Max. There's new versions of an updated HomePod as well as a mini HomePod. There's these new Apple TVs, the Studio Beats or the Studio AirPods, AirPods Studio over the ear headphones. Uh, there's new versions of regular AirPods that look like an AirPod Pro, but without noise canceling. There's just a lot going on. So what we're gonna see at the Apple event uh, on October 13th, it's a little bit up in the air. We know we're gonna see iPhones, but what else are we gonna see? There's a good chance Apple TV could roll at the same time because it just goes along with everything else. Apple's doing their Apple One subscription program, really getting people into Apple Arcade. We could see those amazing new games that coincide with the powerful new iPhone launch, which would make sense to release an Apple TV at the same time to also go with those new games, that new controller, new AirPods Studio that go over your ears with spatial audio and everything else that Apple built in. Uh, it's a lot of stuff. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we see the new Apple TVs at Apple's high speed event on October 13th. But let me know down below or reach me on Twitter what you guys think. So do you like Apple Arcade? Are you excited for a new Apple TV? And what features do you want to see on a new Apple TV? Let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and I'll see you here in my new studio very soon.